PU1 and PU2 students. So, welcome back to our channel. And yes, we know that your unit tests are very close. So, in this video, I'll be discussing a detailed study plan, how you can manage all the things, why unit tests are important, why you should take it seriously. And most importantly, I'll be telling you what we have planned for you for your unit test examination. How can we are going to help you to get good marks in your unit test examination? Okay. So, let's see what we have in today's plan so we have first we'll understand why unit tests matter then we'll talk about the exam dates that we have then uh, syllabus resources how to make the study plan or i have already prepared a study plan i'll show you that and then how can we help you this is something which is going to be very very crucial for all of you okay so first let's talk about why unit test matters so generally what we do is we think unit test is just an exam and never we prepare very seriously and we get very low marks also sometimes okay but let me tell you that unit test one is the first uh, step towards your final exams right so it is very very important and it should not be taken lightly so here are certain things that you should be keeping in mind it tracks your early preparation means how much you have studied till now are you confident with that are you thorough with that it tests that okay then counts in internal for some subjects like uh, maths and languages these internal marks do have importance then improves your retention if you have prepared nicely at this point of time towards the final exam you can just recall just revise and these things will be done for you next we have boost confidence so if you are very sure that in the first exam in the first exam of the academic year you are able to perform well then definitely you have a confidence that in the board examinations or in the final examinations also you will have the same performance next identifies your weak area so when you understand that okay this chapter this area is my weak part and you will definitely work on it and by the time you reach the final examination you will have already strengthened it and it is not that at the end of the time in the last moment you are thinking that okay I don't know this I don't know this from the starting onwards you will be very clear what are your strength and what are your weakness so these are the different part points because of which unit tests should not be taken lightly and it is of utmost importance now okay coming to the next thing the exam date so there are so many timetables but we have received two timetable which I am going to discuss here so the first one is your PU1 and PU2 timetable for North Bangalore this we have received so on 9th of August Saturday in the first half we have Kannada and in the second half we have physics and on Monday that is 11th of August in the first half you have uh, English and in the second half we have chemistry then on Tuesday that is 12th August first half we have mathematics and second half we have biology and then if you come to Wednesday on 13th August first half you have computer science and in the second half you have Hindi Sanskrit and French and other languages also may be there okay now coming to the uh, timetable that we have received for south bangalore okay pu2 south bangalore for pu1 south bangalore i don't have the timetable this is what we have received from different we have collected from different different students we know so we have received these two timetables so for them south bangalore the exam is starting from 11th of august and from 11th that is on Monday uh, 10 a.m. the first half is language and this language includes Kannada, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Urdu, Sanskrit, French, IT, retail at automobile, beauty and wellness and apparel. So these are all the subjects that is covered on this particular date and in the second half you have computer science the bracket numbers which you are see seeing is the subject code. Next we have 12th August Tuesday physics in the first half 33 and biology in the second half in third that is uh, uh, 36 subject code 13th august first half you have english second half you have mathematics and 14th august you have chemistry in the last okay so these are the timetables we have so now if i see uh, the syllabus so syllabus also this is the syllabus that we have received from north bangalore okay so it may differ for other students as well so i am just talking about these people okay this is the syllabus that we have received canada you can see here 40 marks physics you will have electric charges and field electrostatic potential and capacitance and current electricity of 35 marks then english you can see uh, in the first uh, textbook you have romeo juliet two uh, two dear 
on children and everything I need to know I learned in the forest. This is there and then in workbook these all grammar section is there 40 marks paper in chemistry you have solutions DNF block and hello Alkins and hello Arins and 35 marks subject uh, paper is there. Next in mathematics you can see you have relations and functions inverse trigonometric functions then you have determinants continuity and differentiability up to exercise 5.4 40 marks paper. In biology you have sexual reproduction in flowering plants, human reproduction, reproductive health, principles of inheritance and variation uh, 35 marks. Then you have computer science exception handling in python, file handling in python, stack, queue and sorting 35 marks. Then you can see Hindi, Sanskrit and French is also given here. So this syllabus may be varying. So if you have any different syllabus do comment down if other different chapters are there especially for subjects uh, physics, chemistry, math and bio. Okay, For these four subjects if your syllabus is different then do let us know in the comment section okay now we'll talk about the resources this is very very important so syllabus we have uh taken most uh, I have considered I have shown you of PU 2 only okay but PU 1 syllabus is also with us so those students who have PU 1 examinations and have are following our channel do let us know your syllabus also okay next we'll talk about the resources are very important the first important resource is NCRT book okay you should not be going for any reference book anything right now for unit test NCRT is well enough okay don't go for hundreds of books now and the second important book that you can refer is the PYQ bank that is previous year questions here you can take different publications you can refer Jivit book okay you can refer to even Oswal book okay these two books I have verified there may be other publications also but these two books are really good which I have seen by myself next you have your short notes so when you solve these questions when you do these questions whatever concepts you are getting wrong you have to write down in your short notes so that you can quickly revise them just one day before the exam okay now we will come to uh, the study plan for PU2 for PU1 also I have the study plan so please don't get disappointed so PU2 study plan if I see so this much up to 4th up to 7th of August this is for both South and North Bangalore students both can follow this timetable okay so I have given this duration so this is just because now I think everybody should be at least going for four to five hours of self-study okay this is mandatory now last five four days are left for the exam so at this point of time a serious self-study of five hours is uh, compulsory okay so first I have given you on 4th of August so we are mixing two three subjects per day one is combination of physics and bio or CS and the other one is maths and chemistry one day you will study language other day you will be studying English okay so that is six subjects we are covering alternative days clear so on the first day so this duration I have written in 1.5 hours that you can change according to you I know in 1.5 hour you may uh, not feel that this is very less time but we also have less time for the exam you cannot give uh, a whole day four hours five hours for one chapter so you just need to revise the concept important formulas quickly in this time period okay this duration also you have to vary according to yourself for example if you are uh, done with bio chapter you can give more time here less time here accordingly you can adjust okay so i'm just giving a minimum uh, duration so physics electric charges and fields on uh, 4th august that is today then bio cs you have uh, sexual reproduction in flowering plants and for computer science exception handling in python then language you can see whatever language you have chosen based on that you can complete then on 5th of august we have chemistry solutions chapter and on maths relations and functions and inverse trigonometric functions and you have english you can see whatever topic is there you can do next 6th august we have physics again electrostatic uh, potential and capacitance for bio human reproduction and for cs file handling in python and then again you have language whichever language you have chosen you can study that next coming to 7th of august you have chemistry dnf block you have maths matrices and determinants and english any chapter that you have next chapter you can do here now the question here is up to 7th august both of you can follow the same timetable but for north people or the north bangalore students the exam is on starting on 9th right so for them the syllabus uh, the timetable on 8th will definitely be different but for the south bangalore students whose exam is starting on 11th for them the uh, the timetable is different up to 10th 
ओके सो आई बी टेलिंग यू हियर सो फॉर विल गो फर्स्ट फॉर साउथ बैंगलोर दो स्टूडेंट्स उज एग्जाम इज ऑन इलेवेंथ सो दे कैन कंटिन्यू टिल टेंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट माई टाइम टेबल सो यू हैव सीन ऑलरेडी वी हैव डन ऑन टिल सेवेंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट राइट सो ऑन एट्थ ऑफ ऑगस्ट यू कैन डू फिजिक्स करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड बायो रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट्स टैक क्यू एंड सॉर्टिंग यू कैन कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर एंड देन लैंग्वेज वॉट एवर लैंग्वेज यू हैव चूजन बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू विल डू देन नाइन्थ ऑफ ऑगस्ट वन पॉइंट फाइव आवर्स यू कैन गिव हेलो एल्किस एंड हेलो अरिन्स मैथ्स कंटिन्यूटी एंड डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी एंड इंग्लिश चैप्टर विच एवर इज लेफ्ट यू कैन डू दैट नाउ यू विल बी हैविंग एग्जाम ऑन इलेवेंथ ओके एंड इफ वी हैव सीन द टाइम टेबल ऑन yeah just a minute yes so for south bangalore on 11th you have language and computer science right so what you can do is you can uh, i think language and computer science may not be taking that much time but according to again your strength and weakness this 10th of august the sunday 10th of august is a sunday so you have full day so you just plan that because in the between the exams you don't have any gap so you just plan whichever topics you could not cover in the next in the uh, past days just keep that as one part and whichever exam is there that is your language and computer science so these two you can plan to revise if those students are having computer science and those students are not having uh, they can do bio they can revise some other subjects whichever is not completed in the previous say 5 4 days whatever is left you can complete on this day okay now let's talk about the north bangalore students so their exam is starting on 9th of august so we have given already time table till 7th of august now 8th of august is your physics 9th of august is your physics examination so on 8th of august you should do revision of the uh, phys you have physics and i think uh, one more subject is there right so that is uh, physics and kannada okay so what you can do is you can revise kannada and physics one more chapter was left that is current electricity so complete that chapter and do the complete revision of all the three chapters and kannada examination you can prepare okay now coming to now for you 10th of august is a holiday okay 10th is holiday that is sunday and on 11th you have chemistry right and this 9th is saturday so you should be whatever things or whatever chapters we could not complete in between 4th to 7th okay whatever chapters we could not complete in this time that you should be doing on this saturday okay saturday evening after coming from school you have to completely spend time on that so what all the chapters were left so in bio principles of inheritance and vari variation up to pleiotropy 4.5 so this was left and for uh, i think for computer science we were left with stack q and sorting those you can complete and for maths continuity and differentiability so these all topics you should be revising on saturday then sunday this holiday what you will be doing you will be revising for this particular examination you have to you are left with one chapter hello alkins and hello arins if you study properly this chapter will take 2 and 1/2 hours to 3 hours i can tell you so 2.5 to 3 hours you can do just for that particular chapter and the rest of the day you can revise the other subject other two chapters of chemistry and the other subject that is what uh, you have uh, that is with chemistry you have english right so english won't be that difficult i guess so you can revise chemistry what what you have to re revise here chemistry plus english but if you feel that your english is done or chemistry is done you have still more time then revise for the next subjects okay because next bio is there maths is there right so start revising for those subjects okay now coming to the most important part that is study plan for pu1 so i have only the time table for north bangalore students okay so i'm just giving them that uh, time table so up to 4th august that is today you can prepare units and measurements and motion in a straight line for bio the living world and biological classification and for computer science computer system and language whichever you have chosen you can study that then on 5th of august chemistry some basic concepts of chemistry and maths you can do sets and english your 
chapter whichever is there you can select and 6th of august physics motion in a plane bio cs plant kingdom and for computer science encoding schemes and number system language according to your language that you have chosen next chemistry here some basic principles and techniques up to hyper conjugation effect then relations functions and trigonometric functions in maths and then again on 8th of august physics you have laws of motion and then you have to revise because in the uh, on 9th of august you again have exam okay and this 9th of uh, august after the examination you should be completing the remaining parts because 10th august is holiday for you so you can study for the 11th exam on 10th and whatever the chapters that are left for bio and maths that you can can, can be doing on 9th of august so you have morphology of flowering plants and complex numbers and quadratic equations okay next we have uh most most important thing that how will Diksha Karnataka help you in your preparation. What are we have planned for your preparation? So I'll tell you some basic things that we have planned. So from today onwards, we have planned a video, a one shot video of question answer practice. Okay, means we will be giving all the important questions of that particular chapter and how the answers should be written. Answers will also be given to you. Okay, so you can see, for example, you have uh, August 4 physics second POC revision is there at 5 p.m. and then uh, chemistry revision is there at 6 p.m. Okay, then similarly on 5th August you have bio revision for second PUC and maths revision for first PUC and here chemistry revision that is today is there for first PUC. Next you have 6th of August chemistry revision for second PUC and uh, physics revision for first PUC and on 7th of August you have 5 p.m. maths revision for second PUC and at 6 p.m. bio revision for first PUC. Okay, so you can take a screenshot of this one. This all uh, you can see cream color uh, are for your second PUC and blue colors are for your first PUC. Okay, so just you can watch this just take a screenshot and then we also have some planned live sessions for you. Okay, so these all are our live sessions. So just before one day of the exam, we will be conducting live sessions. Uh, to discuss some doubts, to discuss some most most important questions again. So you will have on, on 9th of August we have uh, uh, this chemistry uh, sorry physics examination. So for North Bangalore students PU2 you will have physics live at 6.30. This time may change but we will notify you. Then on Sunday that is on 10th of August chemistry revision will be there for PU2. So this live is completely for PU2 students only. Okay, only for PU2 students. Next on 11th August, you have uh, bio and maths, both live will be conducted. Okay, and also for physics, South Bangalore students also we will have live on 11th. Next on 12th, we will have live for maths for South Bangalore and on 13th, we will have live for chemistry for South Bangalore students. Okay, so you can take a screenshot of this one also if you and we'll also be posting it in our community post. You can check that. Okay, so that's all uh, thing here. And uh, students, I hope this uh, this strategy will help you. And do not worry, we are going to bring a detailed, uh, comprehensive of all one shot video where all the chapters, all the questions are revised. Okay, so that will be our uh, help from you. And if you need anything else, do comment down. We'll definitely address to it. And thank you for watching. And all the very best.